I think what really started to interest me with ballet was less an actual ballerina on stage with the tutus, but it was more um, the music side of things. I wasn't naturally gifted much at all. My mum would often be told by teachers, oh, Isabella's not suited to ballet. I'm really happy my mum didn't actually tell me any of this. I think I first visited Russia when I was 13. So when we visited, I watched the classes. It sort of felt so rich in culture, so rich in ballet history. And when I was watching these girls, they were just like mesmerizing. And I just thought, I don't have the same feeling when I look at people in my school. They said, we like you, but you're too young. You're too young, you're only 15. Foreigners, they can't handle it here. I loved it when she said that. It just made me want it more. Because I was like, I'll prove them wrong. Foreigners can't do it. I can do it. And my teacher used to say, oh, you're an idiot. Oh, you're useless. This kind of thing. And for me at the time, I just knew it was a not so great word, but I wasn't as offended as I probably should have been. They wanted results. They wanted to ignite like a fire in you to be like, no, I'm not useless. No, I, I can do this. No, I can do better. And that's not for everyone. You need a very thick skin to be able to cope with that every day. So I started to practice every night from 6.30 to 8.30. Bearing in mind, I'd done a whole day, was pretty tired. I would just have a, a small snack of food and then start practicing. It's almost silly to me that we don't do enough practice. It's kind of like a musician. When you do your piano lesson, you don't just go from lesson to lesson. You do the piano, then you go home, you practice on your piano. Then you go back and you, you do so much better. And so I had a lot of the younger dancers look up to me in a way and say, you're a great dancer, do you coach at all? And I thought, I can help. I can help these students, I can help them. And so I agreed and I started to really enjoy the process of teaching them. Over time, I felt like this is my purpose. This is what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to help people, I'm supposed to help people from nine years old to 65 reach their goals. And it was an amazing feeling when I discovered and fully committed myself to that destiny, really. So thank you so much for being here today. I'll see you very soon.